The title of this talk is What is OpenSUSE and how does it help SUSE and its partners, which seems a little strange for this conference, which is because it is, this talk was written for a different conference and a different target group of people who probably don't know as much about OpenSUSE, but someone suggested that I do it here as well. Um, I'm going to swap mics. Test one, two. Yeah, that's better. Um, all right. Yeah, that's much better. All right. So, yeah, this talk was aimed at customers, partners, people inside SUSE who may not recognize how important OpenSUSE is to let them all know. Um, by the fact most of you are at this conference, you probably already know that but also hello to anyone who watches the recording. So in the context of this talk, knowing a little bit about me is probably helpful. So I first used OpenSUSE in 2011. Very soon after that, I became a contributor to OpenSUSE based on how easy it was to contribute. And then some five years later, I wound up as an employee at SUSE and I'm also on the board, so in my day job at Caesar, I um, do a mixture of new product development and maintenance, and so I've seen bits of both sides and know how they fit together and how they help each other as we go through. Um, so first question, what is OpenSUSE? Um, it's probably easiest to define what OpenSUSE is not. It is not just the open part of SUSE. SUSE does lots of open source things. Some of them it does through open SUSE. Some of them it does through other means. And like many people I've spoken to today at this conference, many people outside open SUSE also contribute. Or many to open, oh sorry, many people outside SUSE also contribute to open SUSE. It's also not just the Linux distro. Um, we do many more things. So, what I would define OpenSUSE as is we're a global community of people all working on a bunch of cool different things that often interlap and overlap and people work on multiple projects within the umbrella or just one. Um, it's a place where people are free to innovate. Um, anyone can make contribu contributions. If you have an idea and you want to explore it, then OpenSUSE can be the perfect place to do that. Um, we do, by the nature of how the community is adopted and grown, there is certainly a focus on tools for developers and system admins, but by all means, that's not the only focus that goes on here. Um, so this was the fun part to put together because questionably we have too many Linux distributions or flavors or however you want to look at it. Um, so if you are new, this is the quick guide. It might help you pick where you get started. So we're going to start out with OpenSUSE Leap. It's our traditional Linux operating system. It's based off SUSE Linux Enterprise. It actually shares a large number of packages, but then the community is free to add on top of that the things that it finds useful, because we obviously have different targets and different markets. Um, Next along the road, we have OpenSUSE Leap Micro, which is a transactional OS in the micro OS style. Um, similarly to um, Leap being based off SUSE Linux Enterprise, this is based off SUSE Linux Enterprise Micro, if that's what we're calling it this week, in the same way as the standard Leap is. I never remember if we still have an enterprise or not. Um, Next along, we jump kind of to the other end of the scale, and um, we get to talk about OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, which is a rolling release. You might have heard of Arch or Gentoo or many other rolling releases that are out there. The big difference between theirs and ours is we have OpenQA, and stuff gets tested before it hits your laptop, and so it breaks a lot less often. Um, next along the way, Tumbleweed gets updated maybe six times a week. If that is too many times a week for you, 
and you want something that gets updated every month or every couple of months, then we have a new open season slow roll, which is experimental, which basically just tries to slow down and cache the cadence of updates for tumbleweeds so you don't have to update quite as often. And next, um, we have OpenSUSE MicroOS, which is the upstream for Leap Micro. Um, it's a small, lightweight container VM host. Also uses a rolling release. It's also built on the same platform as OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. And then following on from that, we have OpenSUSE Aeon. There's already been a couple of talks. Um, I should have updated the slide from the last conference. That time and date is wrong. But it's ideal for people with no Linux experience. And it uses some parts of Tumbleweed, but also takes things like flat packs from upstream. And so here is the nice diagram form of everything I said. So on one hand, we have SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. We throw that in. Then we take a bunch of other packages from Tumbleweed that SUSE customers are less interested in, and we add them to Leap to get something that Leap users find useful. And then in the same way, I'm sorry, I'm just going to go back. Uh, no, I'm not. Then in the same, um, we also have a container registry. It's not a distribution as such, but we take many of the packages or the RPMs in our distributions, and we use them to create containers and add them to the container registry. Um, and so here is another diagram that roughly tries to illustrate the importance of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and MicroOS and Aon. And you can see that we as developers, somewhere up here where I didn't add, um, add code to Tumbleweed. And that code from Tumbleweed then becomes slow roll. It becomes the next less. It can become one of our container images. It can be become any other new product that SUSE or someone else dreams up. And so one of the things for me as a SUSE employee who maintains packages in Tumbleweed so that when we go to maintain the next list, they're already ready, I have packages where the community makes far more contributions than I do. And so Tumbleweed really is key and really does save SUSE a lot of work, thanks to all your con community contributions. And in the same way, if you want something to work in the next version of SLES or other SUSE products, even as a SUSE engineer who doesn't like paperwork especially, sometimes it's easier just to add things to Tumbleweed and then mysteriously they can appear in new products without having to fill up all the change paperwork. Um, next along the journey, we have Package Hub, which goes in the opposite way. It lets us take our community packages that you guys contribute from op into OpenSUSE Leap and provide them in SUSE Linux Enterprise, kind of with the guarantee that they shouldn't break your system, but um, you don't get much more support beyond that unless the community is feeling generous. And so here is that diagram again with um, less packages going into Leap, Leap packages going back out to Package Hub. So here the community and Tumbleweed packages come before that. And so really, uh, without SUSE, we couldn't do Leap. Without OpenSUSE, SUSE could probably do SLES, but they would have a massive amount more work to do. And so really, it is quite important that the two projects work together. And so here is the big summing everything up set of slides. If you're looking for a container host, um, OpenSUSE Micro OS, if you're after frequent updates, OpenSUSE Leap Micro, if you're after less frequent updates. Um, I didn't put it on there, but I just use normal Leap. Lubosh has his hand up. I'll let him correct me. I fully agree, but there is one pain point with Micro. You have to migrate every 12 months. 
which you constantly do with microS, but they don't change your repositories and stuff. Yes, so but 12, 12 months is nicer than every week. Um, and then for your general purpose server, um, I like using Leap for that. Um, other people are starting to use slow roll, which is a slightly higher frequency of updates of once a month, once every couple of months. But I also know there are crazy people out there running Gento on servers, so I guess you can run Tumbleweed on servers if you feel like it, and you feel like dealing with migrations all the time rather than once every month or once every uh, year. And so, to sum up, if you're looking for an open CSA desktop, um, I've used simple as a word up here. Simple is simple in what you can do with it, not simple in how easy it is to use, because the whole reason that I started using OpenSUSE is because Yast made Leap and Tumbleweed simple for me, who didn't understand the command line at the time. Um, but at the same time, if you want a desktop you don't have to think about configure or change, then OpenSUSE Aeon is perfect. If you want to be able to change and configure your desktop in some form, then Open Caesar Leap is probably great for you. If you care about having the latest package every week, then Open Caesar, Tumbleweed, and Slow Roll become the ideal desktop Linux for you. And so here is, again, all of that in hopefully an easy to use diagram with basically the concept of this one is you can use one of these top options and you have to deal with small migrations all the time. The further down you go for Leap and Leap Micro, you have to deal with migrating stuff yearly. And then, of course, if you want to migrate stuff less often than yearly and you need extended support, then there is, of course, the Caesar options. But as I alluded to at the start, Open Caesar is not just Linux distributions. We do many other th fun things. Um, I've grouped together the Open Build Service and Kiwi. Um, it's great tools for building Linux distros, packages, containers. I've done all of them. Occasionally you get to bang your head against the wall until it works, but there's lots of cool things you can do and there's lots of communities outside of Open Caesar that are starting to use these tools. Um, similarly, OpenQA, we started it out as automated testing for Linux distros. I didn't put the list here, but there are now many, many other distros outside the OpenSUSE family that are also using OpenQA. Um, Yast and Agama, as I said, the whole reason that I started using OpenSUSE was Yast and how it made my life simpler. And there are many, many other projects. I had a look at our OpenSUSE GitHub last week, which doesn't even capture everything, and we had over 600 repos with over 400 people contributing to them. And so we are quite a big family who do many things. And beyond that, we have other activities. We have um, the Open Caesar Conference, which is not next week in Nuremberg. It is today, and you're here at it. Um, we have Open Caesar Asia Summit um, coming up in November. If you have never been to an Open Caesar Asia Summit, it's a blast. It's one of my favorite conferences. I've been privileged to go a number of times. I highly recommend you all try and get there. Um, that, again, that talk slide is wrong. I forgot I put that in there. But there will be, a, but there will be a Open Seas Asia Summit talk sometime this weekend. Um, and then, of course, we have community support platforms. I've listed three there, but the reality is everywhere we have users, we end up with a platform. For example, Discord may not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think of OpenSUSE and open source, but because we have a bunch of OpenSUSE users who use Discord, we ended up with a community there, and there's similar communities spread, scattered all over the place. Um, and this was my slide to remember to talk about the Geekos Foundation. I'm not sure if we have another talk on that. This we do, Doug's nodding his head. Um, basically, it's a foundation that finally allows people to donate financial resources to help grow the community and help make it stronger or to 
provide partnerships and so on, but I'll leave that to the talk that comes up later. Um, and so finally, I wanted to talk a bit about our relationship with SUSE and what we all know that SUSE provides us uh, the platform to innovate on in that SUSE engineers such as myself keep the core of Tumbleweed working and running. We have release managers that SUSE pays. Um, we also get some financial and legal support for them, so SUSE provides us a lot. Without what SUSE provides, we would struggle to exist as a community. At the same time, the community provides SUSE a whole bunch of things, like, as I was saying before, the community contributions to Tumbleweed means that SUSE's engineering department can be much smaller than it would otherwise need to be and really focus on the things that its customers care about that the community may be less interested in. Um, we also provide a massive additional testing platform. Everyone who runs Tumbleweed on their laptops, wherever, you're finding bugs, you're reporting them, they are being fixed, so when we go to create the next Caesar product, those bugs have already been found and fixed. Similarly, the community likes to do beta testing for Leap, which also feeds into fixing slee bugs. As a SUSE maintainer for a package, if I see a Leap bug in one of my packages, I know it's probably important and I probably should fix it, because it's probably going to affect our enterprise customers as well. Um, and we as the community also provide packages through Package Hub. And so that's it for this talk. Does anyone have any questions? Otherwise, if not, thank you. Doug, do you want to do anything to round up the conference for today? I'm going to hand over to Doug, and he can wind us up.